Yo, 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 Israel, Israel. Um, Shalom, Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. Um, I hope you sincere brothers and sisters are truly, truly edified uh, by this word, um, this quick message, man. Um, the spirit was on me to speak about this. Um, I had counsel with the elder earlier this morning. We was talking and I was sharing this conversation with him. And um, it's such a, a edifying subject matter. I thought I would just do a quick word on it, man. Um, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Uh, I don't have the actual title of this word yet, but it's going to deal with eating. Okay, excessive eating. Um, gluttony, gluttony okay to be exact okay and before i get into my story let's identify what's a glutton a glutton is one who indulge in excessive eating and, uh, and if you're not careful if, if you're not careful you'll find yourself overindulging in eating and don't even know you're conscious of doing that that's where we are right now um okay we have lost conscious of of um proper eating uh, another word for gluttony is riotous eating okay um glutton is to eat to excess okay um to indulge the appetite to excess okay given to excessive eating indulging the appetite of food to to excess yeah even our Lord Yahushai was, was accused of being a gluttony in uh, Matthew eleven nineteen. 19. So what I want to share with you sincere brothers and sisters, man, is think about it this way, okay? In the time that we are living in right now, you know, we are, we're going through a lot. Pain, suffering, misery, stress, depression. Um, times are tough. Times are emotionally tough for a lot of us. And what you what you what what end up what end up happening is you you turn to food food almost is like the new thing to be in love with like you'll find yourself dating food you'll find yourself in love with food you'll find yourself romant romantically being involved with food like you know how you be romantically involved as a man, you be romantically involved with a woman or a woman being romantically involved with a man. Food now has has taken over. It's like, it's almost like people are dating food now. People are in love with food, dating food, making love to food. Okay, and let me explain what I mean when I say that. Like, food today is the replacement of that comfort, the replacement of that loneliness, that replacement of that that satisfaction that you want, that attention and satisfaction that you want. People are turning to food. Tender mouth. Tender mouth people are falling in love with the food, man. You know, we should never be eating to get full. We should eat enough to sustain ourselves. When you're eating to get full, that's when you venture over into the gluttonous side of eating, the excess side of eating. But I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, man, you got to really be careful and catch yourself, man, because... I've even been, I've, I've, I'm even guilty of this where, you know, I'm working and I can't wait to get off work and try to figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner. And man, I can't wait. And once I'm eating, man, it's like, damn, man, delicious. And, and it's like, you, you don't even realize you're overeating. All you realize is you hungry or you feel like you may hungry. You may be hungry and you grab you something to eat, but then you find yourself eating a whole bunch of whatever it is. And if it ain't a whole bunch of that, it's still food. Like, you know, um, I'm telling you, man, is it, you gotta be very conscious of your health. You gotta be conscious of your diet. 
You got to be conscious of, of what you're putting in your body, man. Excessive food is not the way to go. That's why a lot of us are gaining weight overnight. A lot of us have gained weight over time simply because we are overeating. Okay, like I said, it, eating today is not just a thing of a necessity, a thing where you're eating because you have to eat. You know, we obviously we have to eat to survive. Obviously, you got to have your daily nourishments and things of that nature. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about over excessive eating. Where you where you're eating unnecessary junk food, unnecessary fast foods like you eating snacks and foods and you eating a whole lot of it. And a lot of it is predicated to you using that food as an outlet to, to fulfill your comfort, your sadness or your misery or whatever you turn to food. Like I know people that are more interested in eating their food than their relationship. Like seriously, like if we had to compare someone's love for food and someone's love for their spouse, I think food gonna win every time. I mean, it's it's just crazy where you just you're 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 eating so you're overeating so much to it's almost like you are having an affair with food. Yeah, like you drunk off eating food, over excessive food, man. So we got to start to be smart brothers and sisters and, and discipline ourselves when it comes to eating, man. And, and understand that we cannot lose sight of excessive eating. That's not healthy for us. And all, it's a quick way for us to gain excessive weight. And then when you start gaining, gaining this excessive weight, now you're venturing into high blood pressure. You're, you're venturing into heart diseases. You're venturing over to diabetes. Um, you know, it, it's just not a good look, man. So my point in this word today is you better be careful, man, because you'll find yourself dating and being in love with food over your own significant other, over your own spouse. Word. I'm just telling you, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. Be very, very careful and understand that we got to be smart with, with our diet, man. We need to eat more vegetables, more fruit. If you got a sweet, a sweet tooth, try some fruit or some sherbet or some jello or some um, yogurt, man, or some ice cream or, you know, something of that nature, um, you know, um, for snacks and things like that, almonds, nuts, raisins, things like that, man. It's easier said than done, but I'm just saying we should be more conscious of things like that. And then when we're eating food, man, let's try to stay away from these fast foods, these fried foods, man. Let's 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 get into bake bake foods, things like that. Um, you know, uh, salmon, tuna, you know, chicken, things like that, man. Um, that's healthy. You know, and staying away from these heavy foods, man, like potatoes and mac and cheese. And I love both, you know, but we just got to brothers and sisters. You know, you can eat the food, obviously, but let's be smart about how we're eating. Let's not overeat. And most importantly, let, don't don't stuff our bodies with a lot of bad food, man, with excessive bad food. Because all that's going to do is hurt us health-wise, man. Health is wealth. You know, 1 Timothy 4 and 8, it tell you exercise profit a little, but it profit. So, you know, let's focus on that, man. And, and I'm telling you, because if you're not conscious, man, you'll find yourself having an affair with food to the point where food is more important to you. Like overeating and food is more appealing to you than your own personal relationship with yourself or your pro your relationship with your loved one, man. Food will, you'll almost pick food over your spouse. 
as far as the love. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you, man. I hope you sincere brothers and sisters was edified by this quick word. And we give all praises, glory, and honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, for allowing this word to come out, man. Shalom.